Good to go. Right, so Action. Is, sure yeah, this is where we yeah. start, right? I remember to start recording. Oh, uh, yeah. I need to let me switch to a different profile really quick. Yeah, I don't even know how to get past the menu. I'm, <laughs> I'm done for. I think uh, they key one. <laughs> The cheat device? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> My auto splicer. <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right. Uh, three, two, one, go. Turn off your Xbox. <laughs> All right, so this is a uh, little Harambe. The uh, <laughs> I don't know anything else past that. Uh, this is actually like a pretty. Decent platforming game. There's actually a lot of like cool glitches and tricks throughout it. It's the best game ever made, honestly. Best game. <laughs> like, look at these physics. Look at this graphics. Uh, let's see. One of the mechanics is this like crouch thing that I did. It lets you kind of like move through the air without dropping down, and it allows you to glitch out the game a bit. It'll be used a lot more later on. Yeah, it looks pretty epic, not gonna lie. Yeah. Wish I knew how to do it. I mean, I, I know how to do it. I'm good at this speed game. <laughs> Alright. Oh yeah, should we introduce ourselves or not? Nah? I mean, I guess if we want to. I am uh, two worlds coexisting. I had world record in this game for like two hours and then everyone dogpiled me and I never recovered. And uh, I'm finger quick. I haven't done a run of this game in like a year. Neither have I, dude. <laughs> so perfect whirlpool is very important here because every whirlpool takes away a little number from the top. And if you lose all your numbers, you don't die because there's no violence in this game, but you have to go back. It's not good. <laughs> and there are a lot of unskippable cutscenes like that that are not really cutscenes, but just like annoying. So there's not really too much with the first level. It's just mainly there's like very few glitches. Yeah. Like the one that I did earlier, I think. And then there's another one coming up that I'll explain later when it comes up. High intensity gameplay sure is. Or yeah, like that glitch thing, or the uh, the crouch jump, or the crouching. That's kind oh, of a work. mechanic that's used a lot. What? Did my game get patched? Do I not know how to <laughs> jump? I think I forgot to invert All my right, controls. There it is. You see, jump. The jump mechanic is actually the hardest part of this game, as oh shown my here. God. I forgot to invert my controls. This is epic. Oh, All right, flawless transition to that rail. I mean, uh, vine? It's not a rail. Uh, there's a lot of things in the level that you have to like interact with with the X button. And they're called curious objects, yeah. right? Yeah. Get uh, curious points every time uh, you interact with them, which is used in the 100% run that nobody does because 100% would be awful. Hey, when are you going to route 100%, by the way? <laughs> I think I tried doing it once, and the curious points are just garbage. Yeah. Like, I wanted to casually 100% this, and I didn't even want to do that. Because you I could got, casually do something better. Yeah, I, I did it, like, or I got, like, halfway through the game, and I think during one level, like, I forgot a couple curious points or something, and I was like, yeah, I'm, I'm done. <laughs> I'm done. Any percent for this game is just a lot more fun. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. I remember the first run I ever did of this after picking okay, up the game. Good times. So if you hit that load zone, like, as you're falling, normally you're not supposed to be able to uh, be on the ground there. Oh. See, like, when you, uh, that's a perfect example. After I jump off the ground, if I hit the ground again, it'll fail me. 
as seen here. Yeah. It's actually illegal in this town to not have a basket on your head, so you gotta be real careful. Or you're a goner. Come on! What? Dang, I almost did something good and then I screwed it up. Come on. Oh. Well. Alright, we in there. We in there. I recovered. Recovery strats, baby. <laughs> I want the voice acting in this game. Like, oh my. Oh no. Oh my. Oh, checkpoint. Yo, not bad. I'm really good at this game. <laughs> oh yeah, sometimes this park can actually soft lock and uh, those baskets will not be there. And uh, you cannot continue. Happened once to me and it was real sad. But hey, I got to make an epic YouTube video out of it. Hey. Also, this game is sponsored by Dole, which you'll see a lot of throughout uh, playing. Because Dole Bananas has a monopoly on every monkey video game for the Xbox, which is literally hundreds. Dole actually avoided bankruptcy by... Uh, Investing in Xbox games. That was really inspiring. I was actually going to apply for a job at Dole using uh, the fact that I had world record on my resume, but then I got bought and I couldn't do it. So the other runners ruined my career. Uh, Come on! Oh. There's normally a like a DDR dance section and like oh, yeah. an obstacle course that you're supposed to do for this but you can go like out of bounds and just skip it entirely <laughs> what resume <laughs> exactly there's um there's an alternative strat where you can just uh walk up the ladder three times and on the third time it'll allow you to like go up to the very top which is slightly slower but it's still faster than uh Doing the obstacle course and the uh, yeah, that, the DDR, DDR thing section. is pretty epic, but yeah. it's really slow. Yo, there should have been a donation incentive to uh, dance pad it. <laughs> oh, I should have brought my dance pad. Oh. I see. I'm gonna show off the other way to do this, uh, to do DDR skip as the kids call it. So pretty much you have to dance for them, but if you just jump at this ladder, jump again immediately, boom. Wait, no, that's not the right way. There we go. No, it's not it either. Uh, I want to die. This is terrible. All right, there we go. I'm pretty sure this game is rigged. All right, so there we go. That's actually part of it. You're supposed to fail it like 10 times in order to get it because uh, they patched it. All right, anyway. Then you just climb up here, and you are out of there. <laughs> rig. Yeah, there's there's no dancing in this video game. This is basically Footloose, the video game. No dancing. And there's no Kevin Bacon to make the dancing. Real unfortunate. What you gonna do? So yeah, then you interact with this and the uh, ship captain's like, hey, what's going on here, baby? And then you gotta go behind some boxes and he's gonna walk in. And you gotta let him go a little further, because if you just try to jump out, he's gonna be like, hey, no monkeys in the ship. You gotta redo it. I right, see, I always let him go a little further, because I feel like it's RNG or something. Sometimes he'll be like, hey, baby. And you're like, no. Alright, so now we're out of here, and we're gonna move on to the end of the level somehow. Whoa, I almost died. Actually, you can't take fall damage in this game. That's one of the best parts. George is invincible. Yeah, George is invincible. Little Harambe. Oh, sh shit. <laughs> Did you almost fall damage? I almost, I wasn't paying attention. I forgot that that car doesn't uh, stay there. Fun fact, that part's an auto-scroller, but you still yeah. gotta do inputs so you don't die. <sighs> George has to be stopped. Nobody can stop the George train, dude. All right, come on. What's the next part? Oh yeah. All right. Whoa, I almost died there. C 
cursing yet. There's there's no cursing allowed during this run. This is a wholesome family video game to uh, enjoy with the whole family. Also, this game makes it painfully obvious that it's a kid's game at many points, but uh, we'll get to that later. When we have some uh, fun mini games, so much fun. I love doing them. <laughs> They're the best part of the game, objectively. A wholesome family stream. That's right, Captain Planet. Still not used to this uh, Cameron version. I love how like, it, like I, pl I don't know. Like I keep swapping between Whoa, like, like inverted camera and non-inverted camera between games, and every single time it messes me up. Just only play this game, and then you'll never mess up. <laughs> yeah. Simple enough, right? Pretty much. What's this one? Oh. See, everyone's handling it pretty well that I'm just a monkey on top of their taxi. Uh, What's the lore of this game? Uh, the lore of this game is George was banished from the uh, 17th dimension after, uh, what was it? Banana smuggling? Yeah, banana smuggling. Because the bananas, they had some radioactive isotopes in them, so George had to go on the run from the Illuminati, and the rest was history. AKA, I don't want to think of the rest of it. So I started out strong and I ended it down there. <laughs> Very dehydrated, rest in peace, me. I auto scroller is almost over, then I can continue to be really good at this game. At least you can see cutscenes, unlike uh, some games for the Xbox that will not be mentioned here today. Okay. Oh, construction site, I forgot this is a level. I wonder if I can do that really cool jump strat. Not this one, but another one. That one I nailed perfectly, because normally you have to get a crane to uh, open up, but you know, the crane didn't want to open up today, so we just kind of jumped without it. And that was a really cool jump I did, but I did so fast I couldn't even think of it, so uh, yeah, it was, it was good though, very skillful, believe me. Almost 30 and Curious George is legit your favorite show? Same, except I'm not almost 30. And that is the level. This is one of the fastest levels in the game. I, I just made I just made that up off the top of my head, but I think it might be true. I think it is one of the fastest. Eight. It takes like 20, 25 seconds. It's not bad. I might have the IO record. Actually, record. this is uh, no. Oh no. This one's also pretty short though. It's either a toss up between this one or the other one. Fun thing about this level is you can actually do uh, level skips where you uh. You grab onto it and you like skip having to go into a planter and you go up to the next level of planters. I'm just, I'm just gonna call these planters. I'm not sure if that's actually what they're called. All oh, wrong way. That's really bad. It's not bad. It's not optimized. Not optimized. It's a really like tr tricky jump to be able to do them uh, skipping levels. Yeah, it's pretty tricky. Too bad I'm the master of jumping up there. <laughs> The Curious George manga may have been better, but we don't read. I don't know how to read. The manga. I only know how to George. All right, so yeah, now you have to uh, basically piss off the owner of this apartment until he bangs on the door and opens up an air duct. Good stuff. So yeah, this guy's basically a communist, but he owns an apartment complex because... You know, communism is falling. Because you know that. <laughs> Rest in peace, Wekin. Yo, what if Wekin's spirit is in this game? And he is the landlord of this apartment complex. This game is awful and Wekin's awful. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty true, dude. Yo, if you want my little red buddy to come back. 
Yes, sir. Mm. Oh, man, so this part is pretty good. That, that's all I had to say. Oh, the ending of this level is just incredible. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, if, if, if you guys are ready for some really incredible gameplay, you're going to be... Oh, it's going to be... Buckle up. Buckle Strap up. yourselves in. Strap yourselves in for the greatest gaming experience you've ever seen. I can't remember... Oh. Isn't it left, right, and then down the hall? Uh, yeah, it's the one right across the hall. I can't Trump remember. Trump hat plus George Gain equals so dank. What do you mean? This isn't a Trump hat. This is a speed running hat. I think I did that crouch hover thing for like half a second. That's a pretty close race, as you can all see. This is going fantastic. Oh, that, that's an epic, that's an epic message. Q monkeys cross-dressing and being forced into lead situations. <laughs> really well, this is the game for you. You should pick it up as a speed game. Somebody in chat's really impressed by your shit Pokemon. Nice. <laughs> I, I'd say I try, but come on, I don't try. <laughs> I actually never listened to this game with game audio on, so this is really nice and refreshing. I've also never played this on a TV this big, so that's really nice and refreshing too. But you know what else is nice is and refreshing? Narcissa as a <laughs> <laughs> Alright, here's the uh, super exciting gameplay. Yeah, that's the best part. It's called Kill Your Freaking Hands. Destroy your wrist. So, the paint cans start full, but if you just spam the buttons, it uh, empties them. And when they're empty, the uh, buttons scroll up the screen faster. So yeah. it's pretty much just you sit here and you spam the buttons for like two minutes. Because this game doesn't have a uh, fail condition built in. Yeah. So it's pretty, pretty safe. Your, uh, come in. <laughs> yeah. Gonna oh, he's gonna FC it, dude. You know it, baby. Mitch will be proud. I hope, I oh. hope you're watching at home, Mitch. Can I, say, yeah. can I get round three, one hundred percent? Like, why you God, this this part sucks. <laughs> this is a really bad Jordan. Like this, speed. like this game is a good speed game, but this part is just awful. <laughs> oh, yeah, the balloons is the other. Uh, oh, beat the, you out the door! Oh no, no. Uh, this this game before like the DDR skips existed. Yeah, I was that was pretty epic. The last time I saw this run, there was still the dancing part. Yeah. Did I ban this room yet? Oh, yeah. Oh. Oops. I know what I'm doing. Oh, thanks. Congre yeah. I worked I really hard for it. <laughs> oh, wrong way. I know what I'm doing, I swear. I'm great at this game. <laughs> I practiced recently. All right, so yeah, this guy, uh, it takes him about 30 seconds to realize you're a monkey, so got to get out of there before he realizes it. And then the timer just vanishes, so he's like, oh, you know, maybe he's not a monkey if he can grab a paintbrush. You know, paintbrushes are up high, monkeys go up high. There's no connection there. Let's get out of here. If anything, not getting the paintbrush should uh, be what tells him it. But, you know, it's... All right, so which way do I go? Oh, yeah, this way. Right, so now I'm gonna kill my hands too. It should be a lot of fun. <sighs> Gotta do some hand stretches before hands. You got this. I believe in you, dude. This is the hardest part of the game. I don't know if I can do it. <laughs> my wrist is like still hurting, and it's been like a minute since that level. <laughs> but that wouldn't be a valid speed run, dude. Yeah, co -op, nah, dude. There's no co op on the leaderboard. <laughs> I'll report you. Nah, I'm just kidding you, bro. We can co-op it. Oh, wait, it's invalid. Ah, uh, that's true, dude. But no one no one has to know I'm on a soft mod Xbox. This isn't being streamed, right? Yeah, nobody watching. If you 
have moved that 1,800 people. That's true. Oh man, my hands are giving out. I need a medic. Hip flyer, get over here. <laughs> yeah, he plays scout really good, as shown by uh, some of his epic gameplay in the past. Is that always T loaded? No, this is an out of bounds. If you go backwards, uh, normally you're supposed to go through like a second set of lasers, but you can just uh, go backwards and uh, skip like a second laser section. I'm doing glitchless because I'm not a cheater. Hey, done. You need a medical attention. Get mercy over here. Oh, don't back ban me. Unless you're talking about, unless you're talking about finger you can back ban him. <laughs> That's cool. All right, so how to get out of here? This is pretty tough. Oh, I just do this. Wait, no, it's wrong. Uh, I just do this. Okay, great. I wish I knew how to do this ending part. I didn't. Really oh man, my hand this. is just done for. Yeah. Wish I could switch hands. I didn't practice the ending pattern here. All right, so this part normally you have to like crawl around the skeletal, but you can just do this and it's all. <laughs> nope, nope, can't. All right. Uh, I'll try that again. That, that didn't happen. That's part of the trick. Yeah. Okay, so normally you have to jump on the skeleton. You can just jump. Okay, so that's Where's also this? supposed to happen. All right, so anyway, what you do is that skeleton right there, normally you have to climb on it. Oh, my God, I'm Instead, retarded. You can just jump at the wall, and uh, uh, it works. See? First try. Can I get some yeehaws in the chat for a first try? It's okay if not, though. Just kidding, anyone that doesn't yeehaw is getting banned. Oh my god. Alright, so that's the uh, rat from Sneakers. Another game for the original <laughs> Xbox, real classic. Why didn't that get in? That's what I'm, because no one submitted that shitty game, dude. <laughs> um, <laughs> there's a yeehaw. Nice, dude. Alright, you all are staying unbanned. Good job. This, uh, I love when we can all come together all right. as a community and make something great. Oh, that's kind of But bad. you know what really needs to be made great? Speedrunning. Speedrunning isn't great. We need to make speedrunning great again. <laughs> Anyone have any ideas in the chat on how we can do it? I know a lot of you are innovators, uh, thinkers, and I know you can think of something to make speedrunning great again. But what are your ideas? Because ideas, they're the future. How about we get a bunch of people to wear, like, yeah. have, like, make speedrunning great again? That's a good idea. Yeah, we should do that. That's a good idea, dude. We should do that. We should totally do that. Hmm. Uh, oh no. I forgot how to play this game. Oh, I just do this. Okay. What am I, stupid? How could I forget the game I practice every day? Honestly. I wish I would've practiced this. <laughs> I wish I would've practiced it. <laughs> like, this oh, This is the one level I didn't, like, really practice. What, the fireflies? Yeah, it's, it's like mostly game. RNG. Can't practice. I'm pretty like either. I'm pretty sure there's patterns toward to it though. Really? Yeah. It's just that the uh, like the time that it takes for the fireflies is uh, random. But I think most of like Come on, George, their locations slow down. is a uh, like a set spawn. All right, backup strat. <laughs> I've actually never tried this before, but hey, it works, baby. Backup strat hype. This is a new strat, it saves about 10 seconds. I right, so now there's some lasers we gotta avoid, because lasers are not good. And George is allergic to lasers, so even worse. Alright, so how do I do this part? Oh yeah. Just jump through the lasers. Crispy. Alright. Oh, come on. That was like, that was just like a hair follicle gave it a little tickle there. How did that? Come on, man. This game is rigged. Could you imagine this game was popular enough to become a full-time Curious George speedrunner? That would be epic. <laughs> That's my dream. Multiverse theory that exists somewhere. Oh, dude, totally. Am I supposed to go in this room? Oh, yeah. All right. Not I'd like to see GCX push this under 40 minutes, though. If anyone can do it, he can. 
a monkey ate your children. That's real tragic, Gloria. I think I'm sorry to hear that. His time's a 40-52, and he has like a few mistakes in his run, but I don't know if it, if his, if he had enough mistakes that would push it under 40 minutes. A dingo ate my baby. That's real tragic. I wasn't even paying attention to fireflies. No, you should. You should do it. I'll teach you how to play this game. No, I'm just kidding. I'll make you win. Oh. Oh, Chad, you ready for another really great uh, oh, that's level? Oh, the best part of the game. Yo. Ooh. You you thought the bubble popping was good? Oh. Oh, man. Oh, you're in for a treat. Most exciting part of the game, hands down. I'm actually personally really excited for when I get to that part. You thought the bubble popping was high octane thrills and chills, dude. Oh, this part's always just, it always gets me. Real tragic. Oh, I, I almost let that one get away, dude. Oh, man, that would be real tragic. Imagine having to redo the balloon popping game. The ultimate shame you would feel. Oh, shit, it got away, dude. This is hard. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, we should both reset. So it's, it's a little tough. Come on. Oh, I got it. Yo, I made it past the laser. Not bad. But what they what they do here is, um, like, if you look at the color of the button and the uh, color of the balloon behind it, sometimes it matches, sometimes it doesn't. Oh, and well, I guess right into that one. since this game is for children, they kind of try to throw kids off by having, like, a red balloon. But, like, for that one, for instance, like, the button that was on it was green. Wait, this game is for children, why are we playing it? <laughs> That's a good question, you know. Oh wait, because we are children. <laughs> Answer solved. <laughs> There's Problem. many, Answer. many other speed games out there. Alright, so this part's a sequence break. Basically what happens is normally you have to rattle those three bases uh, three times in a row to make this guy leave his office, but instead you can just not, and that works. And that's the best way to explain it. You just do it once, and then you just go into the office while he's in there. You throw caution to the wind and you just go for it. And you save uh, about 20 minutes by doing that. <laughs> save about two minutes by doing that, I don't know. There needs to be a vegan triggering event in this game. I mean, there might be, I don't know. Can you think of any vegan triggering events in this game? Vegan, what, vegan triggering? Yeah. Anything oh, I thought you said vegan me? sugaring. I was like, what? I don't even know what that means, dude. Uh, I can't really think of any. I mean, are these vases gluten free? Are the bananas gluten free? That's a good question. Does anyone know if the dull bananas are gluten free? Someone I Google that real quick. Say so he's in the office. He doesn't even notice us. So that's that's great. <laughs> Baby Harambe. All right, this level is almost done. That's the beauty of this level. It's just great. I had a point with that, but I just gave up. Oh, they're throwing in the doubles now. Oh, the doubles are tricky. Yo, the triples, even worse. I hope you don't get any of those, man. They're hard. Kind of reminds me of the Fusion Frenzy rhythm game. Oh. <laughs> it's like you're playing against two-year-olds. <laughs> Honestly, the best part of the mini game is sometimes the colored balloons are different from the actual input. No, the best really part is that there's three sections of this. Oh yeah, that's right. Like you thought you had fun doing it the first and second times? No. Oh man, you'll have you're a blast gonna, doing it the other times. You're gonna have so much fun doing it a third time. Well, the festival in a circus. Bananas contain lectin, which causes reactions to people glue. Oh, almost read that. I think this is the only like last boring part of the run though. Yeah, everything else is just high octane, 100 mile per hour action. Also, I think that game has a technical problem. I seem to be doing all this stuff uh, finger quick is already done. What's up with that? Oh, I'm getting bad RNG too? Come on. <laughs> Come on. Imagine bad Firefly RNG in your Curious George video game. That's enough to make you want to retire right there. 
Oh, no, no, nope, I got the five. That's, that's good. <laughs> <laughs> it does need to get inflated. I'll do that after. So. Oh! <laughs> Whew! Whew! Oh, why didn't we get the true. banana chair on camera? That would have been epic. <laughs> All right, we did it, Reddit Forehead. Thanks for watching. Really appreciate you coming to the stream a whole bunch. Have a great day. Thank you. I think we're doing... No, wait, never mind. Practice that? Practice what? The little speech, the two little set right there. Oh. What? Come on, I didn't even practice this game. How would I practice my commentary? <laughs> Just kidding. Literally everything I say at every moment is scripted. <laughs> Literally everything. Reminder, the marathon's been spliced. Yeah. <laughs> the marathon is actually two hours and eight days, and we uh, spliced it all. All right, so... The gimmick to this level is... Uh, your balloons run out of helium, and uh, to refill them, you just gotta collect these other balloons, and then they throw some obstacles in the way, like cars and wires and stuff. And if you and hold A, walls. yeah, if you hold A, uh, George kind of like tucks his feet up into the air to prevent himself from hitting obstacles, like Wait, that wire you? right there. Wait, how do you crouch up? I forgot. Oh, uh, holding A. All right, cool, thank you. Yeah, no problem. I practice this game. You're welcome, gamer, for that gaming tip. Hey, thanks, gamer. I really appreciate your gaming tip. Hey, uh, chat, how many of you are gamers? Just that quick little survey I'm doing. Because I'm actually a research analyst, so I've been trying to figure out how many people are gamers. Put it on a scale of 1 to 10, so uh, finger quick, use the math for you. <laughs> Yeah, on a scale of 1 to 10 in the chat, how many of you are gamers? Okay, um... Oh, I gotta do this part. Oh. I mean, yeah, I gotta do this part! Woo! That was awful. So these, um... Uh, if you cut these a little too close, like, you can hit these street lamps and... I don't know, some of the hitboxes in this level are kind of really garbage. Bad, yeah. You gotta really uh, keep your distance from every hazard. Yeah. All right, so uh, George's dyslexia might get in the way of uh, pressing the right button here, but we'll see. Gee, sure wish there was a way to skip this. Fun fact, there actually is a way to skip this. We're just not doing it because we just like this level too much. <laughs> It's actually universally a rule not to skip this part because every runner just likes this this part so much. Literally any George runner can back me up on that. It's great. I rate it 10 out of 10. Thank you. I appreciate oh it. Oh my god, I'm getting dicked here. All right, I'm good. Like if you get uh, stuck in something like that, like you can just keep hitting the thing again and again if you don't pull away quick enough. Oh man, I love this part. So How's good. your uh, balloon popping going there? It's a lot of fun, man. I'm really enjoying it. It's so good. This part really appeals to me because it's so fun and simple and you just press the button and it's just so mind-numbing and monotonous and it's just fantastic. I love this part. It's great. I really enjoy it a lot. Good stuff. Now I gotta do it two more times. No game will ever live up to this game. Yeah, especially because of this part right here. This is the part that really set the uh, the bar. I paused because I was trying to think of something to say, but I just could not think of something to say. That's just real yeah. unfortunate. Uh, this level, uh, the level that I'm currently on is another one that had like a, a DDR section but that we can skip. But I'm doing glitchless, so I'm not going to skip it because uh, I'm not a cheater. I, re I respect the integrity of a speedrun. Got to do what the developers intended. Yeah, man, what the developers intended. So we got to get a dance pad on the floor here and uh, do it the way the developers intended. 
or even a steering wheel controller. <laughs> oh man, that'd be great. I should have brought my steering wheel controller. Alright, so, let me see. If you jump over these crates, let me see. Well, the monkey's and then you just walk you. over the crates. I'm gonna point my thing up there. Like if you look in that vent, it's deloaded. Once that's deloaded, then if you jump on this box over here, you can skip another load zone. And uh, the door for this area over here won't load in. And you can just run straight through it. Because normally there's supposed to be a door right here. So what do we call that strat anyway? Uh, DDR skip two or DDR two skip. Oh, okay, that's right. I thought it had a different name for uh, some reason. Because the because that's the second DDR oh, section. True, yeah. The first DDR section was back in I think like the second level. Oh, I'm doing this wrong. It's almost over. The pain is almost over. Only seven more minutes of this, this right here, <laughs> balloon popping. Oh man. I don't know if I remember how to do this. Oh, okay, there we go. I'm gonna ask in chat, is this guy on the couch next to me asleep? Absolutely. Also, hey, extra bro, welcome to the stream. Real glad to have you here. Uh, on a scale of one to 10, how much of a gamer are you? <laughs> Whoa, I almost failed. That would've been bad. You're an asshole, you woke me up. <laughs> Anytime. Hey, I did it. I'm gonna have to get comfy here. We're gonna be living here for the next week. Oh my god. Oh, I didn't grab the potato. Forgot you had to grab it from the box. Oh, whoa, what's this? Uh, this is a no whoa, whoa zone. A no whoa zone, if you will. Just kidding, you can no whoa as much as you want here. Also, am I pronouncing it right? If I'm pronouncing it wrong, please roast me in the chat. Thank you. I don't see why not. This is uh, America. Wait, no, it's not. How do you pronounce Battlegrounds, any percent. <laughs> Wait, is this PUBG? The banana thing. When do we donate to save or kill George? Uh, at the very end of the run. Nah, George actually has like a soul gem that he's not able to refill at the very end, and you have to make a choice: either sacrifice Ted or save yourself. That's gonna be a pretty good one. The screen's gonna get nice and loud with an inflating banana. Nice. I see, yeah, it's curious George will actually uh, suffocate if you don't get him the balloons, so you don't want that to happen. PETA will be real upset. We're gonna grab that banana though, that's actually an essential banana to completing the game. For the uh, soul gem needed at the end. Because George is actually a magical girl. LOL, anime references, I'm so cool. Oh wow, Carville, they also got sponsored in this game, I just noticed. Alright, checkpoint reach, not bad. This is actually going to be a deathless run, not bad. A deathless run is highly sought after. Uh, it's very tough to get, very challenging, and I'm gonna <laughs> die. Nope, I'm not. not Unfortunately, this isn't in any percent no damage because I did take a little bit of damage earlier. Oh, that's true. <laughs> but he's uh, white. Am I missing something? Not even raining in the city. Hey, come on, man. It's raining in his soul. <laughs> come on, George! Oh. Oh, man. That's the correct way to do it. 
How do you conduct it like correctly? Like, I don't think they do that, but somebody has to No, it's too much work. It has to get close. Oh, I'm not gonna go for that. Oh, I'm gonna die. Oh, you can um, jump on that bird, but my inverted controls oh, you, are off. Did you do the, the bird jump strat? I was practicing it before I came here, but I'm not used to the uh, the bird mechanics. No, I'm not used because like I forgot to invert my controls before the run. Dang, dude. The bird knows though. Hmm? The bird definitely knows. That's kind of the backup strat. I mean, it is inflating. <laughs> What'd you do? We're using the air conditioning. That's amazing. <laughs> the innovativeness of our staff. Let's all give them a big, uh, big round of applause. Type a clap in the chat <laughs> to show your applause. Honestly, his full title is Man in the Yellow Hat, so. That was super All right, level done. Nice. That's amazing. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Am I watching Bill Nye do a speed run? Yes, you are. Also, welcome to the stream, Molo. We're glad to have you here. If that's not inflatable dull banana, I'm gonna have to pop it. Yeah, if it's not a dull <laughs> banana, it's not allowed on stream, unfortunately. I mean, I will bang you. Can you pop it? <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> no, we just, uh, we just need to get a sticker. So we don't have the dull banana. Oh, wow. <laughs> Somebody should have stole the sticker from the breakfast. Oh, no. I don't know if they were dull bananas. Well, if they weren't. They better have been dull bananas. Hell yeah. Alright, so I'm actually lost. No, I'm not. I'm not lost. Not anymore. Alright, <laughs> alright, moving on. It's nice that you wrote how often you want to end your own life on your shirt so we don't have to ask. Hey, man, that's, uh. Yeah, you know, I do it for the people. And actually, I was wondering if my shirt was viewable on stream, so that answered my question. Thank you. Oh no, I can't grab onto the ledge. Oh, just jumped over it. All right. That's how it's done. Yeah, why do we not have tournaments for Curious George? The community really needs to get it together and get some uh, tournaments going. Hmm. Actually, this is the first uh, Curious George tournament, I believe. Right here. Live on uh, NASA Marathon. Oh, I fell. All right, so I'm not lost. I'm not lost at all. This is actually the way the developers intended, because, you know, George is just so curious, he has to, uh, you know, explore the whole map before he gets to where he's going. So, see, so yeah, I had to explore the uh, bottom part of the uh, air duct as well. Which lover is this? Uh, the third one, the HD reboot. All right, so now we just need to get through that sure. door. All right, so next up, uh, we actually cannot skip the DDR level coming up, so I have to do it, unfortunately. There is no way to skip it, as you saw, because uh, Finger Quick did it. Use tax. What the heck? Oh, I forgot that that guy yells. I was wondering where that screaming was coming from. What? Nah, that was frame perfect. This game is broken. All right, there we go. This is uh, some great, high-quality gameplay right here, honestly. Look at George's moves. He's just breaking it down all over the place. Why would you want to skip this? This is the greatest thing Xbox has ever done. Like, imagine, this is the only game on the Xbox platform, on any platform, I dare say, where you can see George dancing. Curious George dancing. You don't want to miss it, honestly.
Yeah, George has some killer moves, honestly. His moves can soothe even the uh, most raging soul. Don't you all feel a little calmer now, uh, enjoying these beautiful moves? Because I don't. This is terrible. <laughs> Honestly, I'm going to ask you not to disrespect Zeno. True. Some more balloon popping? It's okay, I can redo the balloon level just for you. <laughs> if George did a dab, I'd turn off my Xbox and walk out. Ed Sheeran speedrun. Whoa! <laughs> That's supposed to happen. If you uh, do that part, the game freezes. I wasn't ignoring the game to look at chat, I swear. The what? Which, what's the monkey dab? Oh, I should have added the monkey dab emote. Up. Oh! No, I don't have the. Sadly. What a damn shame. I already have too many. Like, I have a full emote slot. <laughs> now I'm paying attention to the game and it's, uh, it's going great. As you can see, we're still very close in the race. Literally any of us could win. Any of us could take the uh, gold medal. I'm not totally screwed here, I swear. Uh, who, who in the chat believes I can still... Bring out the W. Uh, show your, show your. Chad <laughs> just goes dead for like ten minutes. Oh man. Nah, I don't think so. That's that's pretty uh pretty accurate. Wait, I'm technically an organizer during the run, and I I believe. Oh shit. <laughs> just shut it off. We, we, we can just put the L next to your name already. <laughs> just live stream an episode of George over my feed. <laughs> probably has a better chance of winning the race. That's honestly true. <laughs> Especially no commercials. W for won't. Ah! Oh, man. Whoa, George did a kind of... Uh, movement freeze there. I don't know what to call it. Yeah, that was some hard platforming, honestly. So what's the timer at anyway right now? Alright, sub one. Wait, can I still get sub one? Well, yeah, I'm told. The world ends. I'll try to let the cuts uh, in play. So I got like a what a 48 something. Uh, I messed up too much. I wanted to go for a 42, but I messed up way too much. I've never actually seen that cutscene before. That's adorable. He's just holding George all lovingly. That's amazing. Yeah, this game is actually kind of fun as a speed game. Sure is. Except when you get completely owned in a race. <laughs> nah, this is still a good time. Yeah. It's a circus and a festival, I'll say that much. I'm gonna, be, I'm gonna give a little uh, shout out to GCX Films for uh, tearing apart this game. Yeah, GCX is a beast. Did he discover DDR Skip or was that uh, someone else? Uh. Either way, he made he made some great moves. Oh, I he he I know he made an improvement on the first DDR skip. I know he found the second DDR skip. He found the out of bounds in the museum as well. Sweet. I th I think he also was the first one to do the uh, the crouching mechanic. Oh, nice. 
I'm not entirely sure about that though. But I, there, there was like some other people that also found glitches in the game, like um, like Pop Tart either, Gamer or something. I think it was either him or Toon Link. Yeah, it might have been Toon Link. One of those two. One of them told me about DDR skim, and I was like, nah, no way, that's not true. And then it was true, and I was like, whoa. But yeah, anyway, they put more time than anybody saying should put in Curious George, and that's commendable. Uh, right, so as you can see, it's still a really close race. I believe I can still pull out the W. You got this. Absolutely. We just got two left. Like, look, look at him, he's still on the title screen. Are you kidding? <laughs> Like, ah. Uh. Somebody wake up. Did you guys finish? Uh, yeah, totally. Yeah, I was gonna say, is, is this one person already dying? <laughs> nah, not at all. It's still going. I save? Oh, I, I drowned. Uh, so this part's actually inspired by Frogger because he jumps on a bunch of logs. <laughs> it's pretty epic. Let me see if I can get that. Uh... Start a new game and beat him again. Ah, <laughs> probably could. Well, wow, that's a bad checkpoint though. Why do I have to redo the Frogger level just because I fell? That's just shameful. Whoa! Okay. Come on. Yes. Frame perfect inputs. Frame perfect inputs. He actually started a new game. Oh, he reloaded. Oh, now we're tied. Look at it. We're tied. We're tied. <laughs> I can still win this. I can still. I want to see if I can get that bird jump. Now I'm too used to like the uninverted controls. Holy moly. So now it's weird playing inverted controls. Honestly, I think everybody won today because we got to play this uh, fantastic video game. So in a way, there were no, <laughs> no losers. Uh, <laughs> uh, oh, Wait, are these controls? Left, right, left, okay. Yeah, I think I'm just too used to the uh, uninverted now. Alright, so a part of next. All right, this part. There's actually a really tricky uh, statue puzzle coming up that takes a lot of memorization. This is actually RNG, where the statues are every time. So we'll be coming up to that in about uh, 200 seconds here. If I can remember how to get to it, that is. Uh, should be around here somewhere. Oh, man. It's over here. All right, climbing some vines. High quality gameplay. Why are there 1,600 people watching Curious George? Because it's the greatest video game ever made. That's why. No, that's not a ma Make America Great Again hat. It's a Make Speedrunning Great Again hat. Yeah. There's a difference. And we're making Speedrunning Great Again by uh, playing this video game. The greatest speed game ever made. All right, so yeah, the uh, super again. challenging uh, puzzle is coming up in about two seconds here. I'm actually not sure if I'm going to be able to do it because I don't think I memorized the uh, RNG patterns. So we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Or happens. Hasn't happened yet. Classic two worlds. Messing up what to say. Will there be a huge announcement at the end of the marathon how speedrunning will be made great again? At the end of the marathon, speedrunning will have been made great again, so no announcement needed. Alright, making great progress here. Whatever run follows this is gonna look amazing. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Uh. Speedrunning was never great. Nah, you're wrong. It was always great. Nah, it was never great. I gotta agree with you there gonna back you up I didn't want to back you up at first but then I was like I should probably back you up there 
All right, it's coming up. The greatest puzzle of any video game ever. It's coming up. I've been hyping it up so much, but it's coming up. The most challenging puzzle in this game. Like, you thought this was a game for kids? You think again. What kid would be able to solve this puzzle right here? Like, this is just challenging. I don't think any kid could really figure it out. I mean, come on. Oh, and it's done. Okay. Uh, it's now we're about uh, two seconds away from beating the game, making great progress. Are we still at sub one though? Fifty-five minutes. All right, I can do it. I can clutch it. Who uh, who believes in me? Who thinks I can get sub one? I think it's possible. Hell yeah! It's I can't remember is. what like an optimal last level is. Probably not what I'm doing right now. I mean, absolutely what I'm doing right now. 200 IQ puzzle yet. You gotta be a genius to figure that one out. Alright, looking good, looking good. Alright, alright, looking good, looking good. It's not looking good. Ed Streamer, what makes George so curious? Uh, what makes George so curious is the uh, question of life. He wonders why am I in this terrible video game? <laughs> why can't I be free? Why am I being memed by over a thousand people in chat? They're making Harambe jokes about me. What is the point? And the point is memes. But just can everybody in chat imagine for a second being Curious George? Can we all just imagine that for a second? If we could all just come together as a community and just imagine that, it'd be great. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> Hell yeah. That was epic. Oh man, I thought that was a vine. What am I, blind? Rise from your slope. <laughs> oh man. Look out, George, that ledge is gonna break. Thanks for telling me as it's breaking and I'm about to fall to my death. Thanks, man in yellow hat. Oh no. Oh no, it worked out. Cool. Who won? Uh, I'm in the lead right now, so <laughs> me. I'm very close. Are you gonna beat me again? <laughs> <laughs> nah, it's not gonna happen. I got the Oh, I'm ahead, I'm ahead. Oh, go, go, go. Gamer. Go, go, go. Oh man, oh man, oh man. The pressure is high. The heat is on. Who's gonna win? Who's gonna take home the golden crown? The golden banana, actually. Who will take home the golden banana today? Go, go, go. Oh my god, her screens are identical. Holy moly. Come on, dude. Go, go, go. Oh man, oh man, oh man. Holy moly. Holy moly. Ooh. Ooh. Go, go, Took go, a little go, bit go, of go. a tumble there. A little bit of a tumble. Can two worlds take advantage of this tumble and come out in the lead? Can we? Oh no. Two worlds fell. It's over! <laughs> and the recovery is real tonight. Back on that vine, back on that grind. About to take the W. This is some high octane gameplay right here. It could be anybody's game. Will there be two L's? Or will there be one L and one W? Let's find out. In approximately one minute. Maybe less. And Two Worlds forgets where to go. It is over tonight in the Thunderdome. 
and Two Worlds remembers we are back at it again. The Golden Idol. Well, it's not gold, that's red. Oh, man. Riding the wave of victory. Hopefully that wave does not drown Two Worlds and cause another L. Can the W be clutched? Can the W be clutched? Oh, it's anybody's game. This is truly pulse pounding. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, man. This is more hype than a triple frame boost. Did two worlds just go the wrong way? <laughs> two worlds just went the wrong way. It is over. Oh man, the screens are identical. The two worlds would have just jumped left. This could have been avoided. You could have prevented this. And another idol back at it again. Finger quick following like an enraged ghost. <laughs> oh, almost fell. Oh, oh. Ooh, go, baby. go, go. No. Two worlds fell. Those inputs are identical. They are off the chain. Oh, the Ooh. ledge grab. The ledge grab, new strat, unveil live in NASA. <laughs> Will this cause the W? Oh, the finale. The idol is in reach. The finale. Oh. And time. <laughs> Two worlds wins. <laughs> Close. <laughs> Oh. All right, GG. Not bad at all. Good game. Oh, what's in the gift shop, though? <laughs> the gift shop. Oh, it's just the same we already played. No, that's not good. Outfits, though. Don't you have to get, like, the curious points so much? That's so, so, yeah. That was a good, a all good right. race. Now we're going to watch the... <laughs> <laughs> all right. That was not oh, bad. Shoot. That proves uh, that you can achieve your goal no matter how challenging <laughs> it is. Alright, well, uh, thanks for watching.